budget three hundred thousand, and you know that's 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 for that's for that's for fucking you know production of the album, recording costs, video costs, uh, fucking trap, uh, you know all the, all the everything you know, your advance is gonna come out of that. You know, fucking what they're gonna keep track of all of that shit. Production, paying the producer, paying the features, paying fucking the engineers, all that come out of that. And I got Joe Blow in his pocket. Now, if you got, say if you came to the game, if you came to the table with a producer, now, back in the day, they used to be like, you come to the table with a producer, but you got signed by yourself as an artist. So, if you get signed as an artist, they're That's gonna look. An artist deal, isn't it? It's an artist deal. So they're gonna look at you like, all right, unless you got a real motherfucking team, like you got a real team, like y'all niggas been making noise, and y'all niggas got, you know, your catalog game is up, you know, this is our sound, this is what people want to distract from your producer and eat that budget up, nigga, because they're gonna go get their people to get it on that project, and then they're gonna crack that budget with their people, so they're gonna eat so they good. basically doing everything they can envision to try to make that money come back. Yeah, yeah. Eyes. But, but, then, but it's yeah. deeper than that, but it's deeper than that because the AR is that's his side hustle because he's still he's acting as a manager now. For the producer, his homie, that nobody, oh, nobody even that, knows. That's management for the producer. For the okay. producer. So if you are an AR at a label it's and you're like, yo, we just signed, we just signed, we just signed this new nigga, woo -woo 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 -woo. I'm gonna get you on this album, but this is what I'm gonna want back. Say so you charge ten thousand a beat, he gonna want twenty percent of that ten. You charge, you know, fifteen racks a beat, he gonna want his little. You know what I mean? Slide them on, cut him on in. And he signed the motherfucker too. Nah, but he, yeah, he signed. Say he signed the act. So I'm saying, on signing the act, he get a check. Right, and then, and then he gonna go get the producer to get some money from this nigga, get his little, and then keep working. That's how they used to work budgets back in the day. Niggas used to work a nigga. New artists get a budget. That's why top first quarter was so crucial because they signed all these new acts first quarter. Cause all the money come in first of the year. Everybody get all the new money coming in. All the labels get all their new budgets approved. And they go, you know, everybody's hype. And they go sign some new artists. And, you know, and it's like, that's what happened to me, my nigga. Like, niggas ate my motherfucking nigga. Nigga ran off. Nigga ran off with my budget. He didn't like even, this, but we budget. Nigga didn't even eat it up. <laughs> nigga ran off with it. You remember, nigga, when I was signed. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't figure out yeah, what I nigga, was the budget. When I was signed. When <laughs> the nigga was sprinting with it. Yeah, that's that. They couldn't find the nigga. They come I'm gone! K-Solo! <laughs> I do remember you're like five years old.